This podcast was produced by Sean Western Media. From a dimly lit cupboard somewhere in England, two people chat about communications. Sometimes they talk about completely different things. Welcome to From the Comms Cupboard. Here's an opener. Is email dead? Wow. I've given this some thought. Have you? But I'd like to hear what you've got to say. I would say no. But with a heavy heart. (laughs) With a heavy heart. That's because you wish email was dead. Well, maybe not dead, but I wish email wasn't so used. Do you mean so used generally by businesses or so used internally inside a business both i think i can safely say that when i open my email in the morning (laughs) work or personal i would have lots and lots of emails to open Mm. and i imagine certainly my personal a lot of it's marketing Mm. bump junk from outside the business from outside how and much I don't... did you get from people inside the business? <laughs> I'm talk- this is my personal email, but I'm, I'm thinking my internal one. Yeah, I don't get too much marketing, but I get an awful lot of emails. And there's that... Do you know what drives me nuts about an email? Emails? Go on. The imp- imp- people think that when they send it, that means you've read it. All right. How, how many of us read every email that we get sent? We'd be lying if we said all of them. I don't. I don't. What do you think the what do you think the percentage of people is that open I, it? I think I actually know the answer. Oh, you do. I've looked it up. Oh, you, you've done some form of research for this podcast. Sometimes I prepare like a pr- professional. I can't say p- professional today, <laughs> but I p- prepare for it. Forty percent is the open rate. Wow. For the average, that's wow. an average. See, that's much lower than I thought it would be. The alternative, of course, for in. Internal communications are all those fancy tools that people are sometimes afraid of. Hmm. You know, your Slack, your Yammer, your the new one is Teams, right? Microsoft Teams. Teams, yeah. And WhatsApp, believe it or not, WhatsApp. And I know that a lot of businesses are kind of afraid of WhatsApp because they think it's less secure, but actually it's a really secure platform. I think they... But, but it's harder to control. Mm. But you should see the open rate. Do you know what the open rate is for? I have a feeling you might do. I do. 98% open rate on wow. communicating through WhatsApp. Wow. That's I mean, a that's, a, that's a selling point for WhatsApp to businesses, isn't it? It is. It is. Wow. It's certainly, a, it's certainly a, something to take note of in terms of messaging services. You know, text messaging services. Because they're shorter, they're snappier. It's not an envelope, it's Mm. a postcard. Now, do you think it takes more effort and thought to construct a text message than an email? Yeah, I do. Because I'm a writer. And I always think it's harder to write more concisely. It's easy to... Babble. Babble and put your pen to paper and come out with 2,000, 3,000 words. But the real writer is the one that manages to pare all of that down to 1,000. So if you introduced WhatsApp as an internal communication channel, you'd have to be pretty pretty snappy with your uh, with the length oh, of your yeah. messages, wouldn't you? Oh, you'd have to be the Ernest Hemingway of internal communications, but perhaps without the alcoholism. <laughs> Well, it's usually a prerequisite, but prerequisite. who knows? Who knows? I'm sure each of us has had a drink at some point. <laughs> Particularly in internal communications, I suppose. Well, I think in any uh, any role <laughs> in the world. <laughs> not that there's much in the way of alcohol in this cupboard at the moment. No, it's not a, not a drink in sight. That's because it's dark and we can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> so they could be. <laughs> if you hear a clink, it's just me. <laughs> Now, WhatsApp business has come out. What do you know about that? Not much, to be honest. I think it's new. Like hot off the press. Hot off the press. I don't know how it works. I downloaded it and had a peek. 
but it wanted to connect to my contacts and you know what I'm like. I don't like things connecting to my contacts, especially if they're made by Facebook. There are other social media platforms available. There are. Now, how do you think people will feel when, in my experience, uh, people are not always that keen to use their personal mobile for work? So if you were to go down a route of, say, WhatsApp as, a, as an internal channel, would mm -hmm. that mean you'd have to buy everyone a mobile phone? Uh, I'm in two minds about this. I think it's good to have a work-life balance. But I also think that it's naive to think you can separate the two these days. Mm. I think modern business works very, very differently. But you're still in control. You know, I, I, I've never had a second phone. I've always had my own. But I know when not to answer it. Mm. That's true. And I mean, it's really quite simple to turn off alerts. and There's do not disturb features on most phones, most phones I think, now. But I, I guess, I guess you can think if you're if you're the type that gets that message when you're watching Corey, you're halfway through Corey, right? Not me, but not for not this example, either. I'll go for. Let's it. use this example, and and then you get a message from your line manager, and you think, if I don't reply to it, what are the consequences? What's going to be said to me tomorrow if I don't reply? And I guess there's that sort of guilt or, or um, yeah I think guilt's a big a big thing, a big isn't, thing it? isn't it it is but I suppose that's the beauty of an email is that an email can be sent and then read at a later date ah so maybe the unique characteristics of an email can be more easily ignored than a message yeah I guess so that's I why guess... people like to keep email around yeah I mean there are benefits of email right it comes straight to you. Mm -hmm. Most people have Outlook or Gmail or whatever it is open on their desktop all day. So you know the message is going to go to people. Um, well, on average, 40%. That's true. At least open it. If you had a newsletter, though, and you knew the statistics that were 98% for sending over Slack or WhatsApp, you'd do that, wouldn't you? You would, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd do that. I would. What do you think stops people using Slack or Teams? Because they have their downsides too, right? They do. I mean, I've got plenty of experience of, you know, Yammer and Teams where people just don't interact at all. Yeah. You know, we don't have time for this. It's another thing. I'm busy with my job. Yep. All those excuses. So what stops people kind of collaborating on those tools? Because those tools are more, more than about sending a message. Like an email is about sending that message. So... I think it's about being always on. I don't think people like to be seen as always on, always available. But I, I've worked with Slack for a couple of years, to two or three years actually. And you don't have to reply straight away if you don't want mm. to. My favourite button on Slack is snooze this till later. Mm. And do you know what? Email has one of those too. So that there's not... Very much difference between so is, them. Is it about is it boundaries perception? then? Is it culture and boundaries? Oh. Is it is that where this is? So is there a is there something that, you know, you can help reassure people? You don't have to you don't have to answer that message straight away. You know, is there some you know, like when you get that dreaded email and it's got the the red mark on it for urgent must oh, answer yeah. those type of things does that actually make you want to open it no. anymore no <laughs> I guess slower <laughs> then you, have, you do have authority issues there have authority issues but I like the idea of messaging being quicker to get mm. a sign off perhaps yeah. you want a project signed off isn't messaging quicker mm. yeah it is I think you that know that someone on the other end work. has a green light next to their name so yeah. you can go hey can you sign this off straight away? Yeah, and I think that comes back to boundaries. You know, if my light's on, my green light's on, I'm there, I'm talking. If my red light's on, I'm not. Don't expect an immediate mm. answer back. I mean, I don't think it's either or. It's not either or email or collaboration tools. There are other things that are good ways of getting people... You know, some people really enjoy taking something and reading something. I, I can remember internal magazines for example people used to love those 
And I mean, we don't see them very often because of environmental challenges, not wanting to produce too much paper. Mm-hmm. But there was something nice about having that in your hand, wasn't there? And you maybe would read those magazines and yeah. see your friends, your colleagues in there, and they mm-hmm. were a good way of celebrating things. Um, some people really love to read. Some people like a podcast. I can't imagine who 